Hello, CIS 30A. In this video, I am going to go over project example two using GUI zero. In this project, we are to use Costa Rica photos and data to be able to build a Python application. So today I'm going to demonstrate an application using Python and GUI zero um, to, to search for an animal and display the picture of the animal. So to start, we are going to look at the code. And in this program, I am using um, GUI zero. So at the top, I have the import statement. From GUI zero, I'm using app, text, text box, picture, push button, and box. These are the classes from the library. So we are going to start with first, we need to define our root window, which is going to call app. And for this, it's going to be um, the actual window where we're going to put all the widgets. In my program, I also have a push button function. This is designed to um, find the picture when the user enter the keyword, such as the animal bird, monkey, or butterfly. So on the text on the window, I actually have a text widget, which is a welcome message. And this application is for um, children's in internal forest. So it would say, welcome to Bosque Internal de los Niños. And the font size for this is 20. I'm using Times New Roman font, and it's gonna be blue. With the function, I need to globalize my search key variable or object, this is going to hold the input value from the user into the text box. I also have a box object, which is going to be destroyed when um, the window is open. However, it's going to be recreated to hold the picture after the user click the search button. So here in the function, as you can see, we have a search object. This is going to be the search key value that the user is input. After that, our box is going to be destroyed using the destroy method. So it will not show any picture at the beginning. But we need to have this particular widget because in order to place the picture onto the root window app, we need to make sure that the, the picture is on the box object. Then after that, we would create the box, which is then going to hold our picture when the user submit the search. This is going to be the object using the box class. So inside for the parameter, I'm going to go ahead and put in the container one, which is going to hold the picture. And we want to specify the dimension of the box so that way it would configure the size of the picture. Then next, we are going to create the picture widget, and this is going to allow us to place that picture on the box. So here we have pick as the object, and we're using picture class. In the parameter, we would pass the box as it's going to be on top of the box, and the dimension, we want to keep it the same size as the box that we're using. Then I have conditional statement in my function. This allows me to match the input text to the picture. So I have if the search key value is bird, then it's going to display the mop mop picture. Elif, the search key is butterfly, it's going to display the butterfly picture. And the third condition is if the search key is monkey, it's going to display the howler monkey from Costa Rica. Else, the text box would show no result. Then we want to also clear the search key after each input. So we would use search key.clear. This is the method com coming from the library. Now for the container, this is going to be the area where the picture is going to show as we pass container one in our function here. So we must define that. And this is an object of box and it's going to be on top of our app 
which is a rear window. I also have a local picture that's going to be on the left side of my uh, of my window. So this is going to be the picture object and we want to put it into the container. Now in this logo we want to show the Eternal Forest um, logo and the dimension of this is 250 by 250. We want to align it left. Then we have a box object. This container is going to hold our picture for the search and that's going to align right. And the dimension of that is going to be the same as the dimension of the box that we use in the function, 300 by 250. Then we have a container too. This is also a box object. This is going to be the container for the instructions and the search box. So as you design this, a similar program, you need to make sure that you would add appropriate box where you would have specific widget. Very similar to what we talked about with TK Enter, using label and putting image and text on top of the label. So in GUI Zero, we would need to create boxes in order to place various widgets that we want to use for our application in Python using GUI Zero. Then after our container two, we would have the instruction. So this object is gonna be text and it's gonna be placed on top of the container two. And the text that we are gonna have the text box called search for an animal. That's gonna be the width of 20 and it's gonna align left. For our search key, this is going to be a text box. It's placed on top of container 2, similar to the size of our text, and that's going to align left. So these two widgets are going to go together. One is going to be the text box. The other one is going to be the display text for the text box. Then we want to have the focus method for the search key. Now, after that, we need to have a push button. This push button is going to allow the user to submit their input. So I have an object called update and it is a push button object. Then this is placed on container 2. And for the command, we want to use the function. So here is where you would call the function search animal. And my uh, width for this push button is going to be 10 and it's going to be submit. So this push button is designed to submit the search to display the picture. And then next to last is going to be my quit button. This allows the user to close the program. It is also another push button placed on container 2. And this is going to allow me to close my window or that will use the destroy method for the app. So after this, we are going to have the app display, which is going to be the main loop. This allows us to display the entire window with all the widget. So as you can see, this program is going to contain all the widgets from app to text to text box, picture, push button, and box using GUI Zero. So when I run this program, it would look like this. We have the logo on the left, the welcome message in blue on top. We have the search for an animal text and our, our text box for the user to input. So I will go ahead and type in monkey and click submit. And it should show the howling monkeys with its baby. Now if I search for bird, that would show the mot mot. And if I search for a butterfly, it would show the blue butterfly from the eternal forest. And if I want to quit the program, I will go ahead and click quit. So this.
program entails all the widgets that we've learned in Unit 5 or Week 5, where we use GUI 0. And this is to show you how you can apply the concept to be able to create your project using GUI 0. So the procedure of my program is listed here as I create the pseudocode for this. I have the start of the program, display my root window, include the window title. I would have a welcome message in blue for the eternal forest, display the logo for the eternal forest. Then I would use, um, I would have the box, so a box object. to contain image text box text and image and then with that I would need to display use that to display the instructions for the text box then for the search key I want to be able to verify the input using the function and that function is going to be utilized as command for my program so that function is then being called when the button is pushed so in the function I list the conditional statement for bird monkey and butterfly So for the else statement, I had modified this to provide no result message. And lastly, I would have the quit button. And the last step is to have the main loop for root window. So again, when we run this program, you can see we can input the search, click submit, we can enter another search, submit, and then ultimately we can quit the program. So this concludes my demonstration for project 2 using GUI 0 and Python to create an application to search for a specific animal in children's internal forest using um, user input and to display the picture. Thank you for watching my video.